Welcome back to Newswatch. A new type of entertainment is causing some attention in downtown Ellensburg. It all started when a Clee Allen resident decided to open a bar with a different kind of attraction. Tara Kletke has the story. A new business has recently opened in downtown Ellensburg and is competing with others in a unique way. Shooters 2.0 is a bar that is unlike any other in Ellensburg history. Mike Morgan is a previous chef and business owner who wanted to open a place for young adults to come and play, literally. Morgan's bar offers a variety of activities to keep his patrons entertained, ranging from video games to pool to board games. I thought that a uh, gaming area would give everyone in town a better avenue to come and hang out socially than as opposed to sitting at home and maybe being by themselves. And I didn't think that anywhere in town offered kind of a, a, a place, a venue to actually be comfortable to do that. So people that wouldn't go out would now come out. The new location of Shooters in downtown Ellensburg on 5th and Pearl Street was previously a lawyer's office, a kid's safe center, and office spaces. The location then sat empty for over a year before Mike Morgan leased it out. With the current state of the economy, opening a new business is risky, but it wasn't a concern for Morgan. The current economic state really wasn't anything that dissuaded me from actually starting the business. Uh, I was kind of curious as, of how busy it would be, and uh, it's been busier than I have thought it would be. Morgan has noticed a growth in his business since he opened on January 2nd. I came down to give it a shot. The opening of Shooters is proof of the improving Ellensburg economy, and Morgan's competitors would agree. I don't think anyone's very concerned. I think uh, all the other places actually offer something totally different than I do. Other local businesses say they have not seen a negative impact with Morgan's new addition. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Tara Kletke. Fire officials are investigating the two fires set outside CWU residence halls, claiming they may have been intentional. The first fire was reported on February 2nd outside of Sparks Hall. The fire Tuesday was found behind Alfred Montgomery and was in a homemade plywood recycling bin. KVFR Deputy Chief Rich Elliott says the fires both appear to have been deliberately set. University police are stepping up patrols and will begin re-interviewing students early next week. If anyone has information, they are encouraged to call the University Police at 963-2959. The Central, Washington, the Central Washington English and Humanities Department hosts a literacy event called the Lion Rock Visiting Writers Series. The event invites nationally known writers to talk about their life and read excerpts from their work. The most recent writer, Lisa Norris, read from her story collection, Women Who Sleep With Animals. Newswatch reporter Bobby Stover talked with Lisa Norris about her stories. Guest speaker Lonnie Guignere visited Central Washington University Wednesday night. The event was sponsored by the College of Arts and Humanities and the President's Office. Professor Lonnie Guignere came all the way from Highland Community College to give her speech to approximately 150 students, faculty, and other members of the Ellensburg community. Guignet is a civil rights attorney, a leading advocate for political reform, and the first African-American woman to be appointed to a tenured professorship at Harvard Law School in 1998. President Bill Clinton nominated her to be the first black woman to head the civil rights division of the Department of Justice. She currently is a visiting professor at Columbia Law School. CWU student Dessa Boyle came away with what she considers to be a valuable lesson. Well, I really like that she came and spoke about that in such like candid, such a candid way because with being in such a small town, we're not really open to everything that there is out in the real world. In her speech, she covered several ideas based on her ideologies, which was followed by a Q&A session and a book signing. For Newswatch, I'm Kim Fairbanks. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Ellensburg City Council requested an ordinance this week that if passed would allow residential neighborhoods to, practice, uh, to participate in bookkeeping. This ordinance will allow up to six honeybee hives per property. Hives must be located on single family residences at least 25 feet from property lines. The council will discuss the ordinance in March. If passed, Ellensburg residents could begin bookkeeping this spring. The Ellensburg City Council has unanimously, unanimously approved a new one-year contract for over $300,000.
The contract is between the city and Kittitas County Chamber of Commerce for tourism development and promotion services. This new contract is about $75,000 more than 2011. Most of it for, is for a new director of tourism position. The new director of tourism will manage all aspects of Ellensburg tourism, including promotion, management, and marketing. CWU held a special speaker presentation last night featuring a leading advocate for political reform, Lanny Gunier. This is the first time Gunier has visited the CWU campus and her visit gathered approximately 150 visitors. Kim Fairbanks has more on the special visit. The Lion Rock Visiting Writers Series schedules readings every quarter and brings in writers from all over. The price may vary depending upon the writer. The event is funded by the College of Humanities and the English Department. Recently, because of the weather conditions, they have only been able to book local writers. Lisa Norris, who is an associate professor at Central Washington University, read a passage from her collection of short stories, Women Who Sleep With Animals. She explains what this particular short story was about. I read a story called The Opening, which was um, about a uh, conflict between two women who are friends. One is an, a rather self-centered artist, and the other is a super hyper-responsible enabler type um, who works for the Humane Society. The collection of stories in this book are made up, albeit entertaining, and won the Stephen F. Austin University Press Prize for Fiction. But what was most memorable for Lisa Norris in writing this book? Holding the book in my hand and seeing my son's art on the cover uh, I like the fact that it won a prize, and um, and people will be reading it, and I would love it if they would tell me how they respond to the stories. They were a lot of fun to write. She also read from a few of her poems, including one that talked about her dog Sterling getting older and preventing him from going through any unnecessary pain. She also took questions from the audience regarding how she was influenced to write these short stories. Reporting for Newswatch, this is Bobby Stover. We apologize again for the technical difficulty. This week is Burn Awareness Week in Washington State. Scald burns are the second leading cause of death in children aged 4 and under. Scald burns can be prevented by lowering the temperature on water heaters to 120 degrees Fahrenheit or less. According to the State Fire Marshal Charles Duffy, continuous supervision of young children is the most important factor in preventing tap water scald burns. Coming up when Newswatch returns, Nick Griswold joins us with a look at your forecast. Will we see any snow this week? Stay tuned. 